What's up guys and welcome back to another video where we're going to check out a celebrity's car collection. You guys know how these videos work. If you want us to cover someone in next week's video of this type, all you have to do is comment their name down below and we'll take the most recurring name. Now you guys have been asking a bunch for Kanye West. So that's who we're going to be looking at today. You guys all know Kanye West, of course, very famous rapper and now I guess designer as well, who has a net worth of over $1.3 billion reportedly, which is pretty impressive considering he's only 43 years old. So with that kind of money, you can afford to buy quite a few cars. Now, actually, surprisingly, seeing how kind of bling bling and showy Kanye West can be in other things, he doesn't have that many cars. I mean, he has a ton of cars for the average person, but for a billionaire, it's somewhat reasonable. Let's get started with Porsche. Now he's been spotted in a Porsche Panamera, I believe in Paris before, with his now wife, Kim Kardashian. So getting into the back of this, but also at one point driving it. So we know that they spend a lot of time in Paris. They have an apartment in Paris. So maybe that's a car that they store here, keep here um, for their time whilst they're in France. Also been spotted in a 991 generation Porsche Carrera. Uh, really nice, but only spotted once. So was this a rental car? Was this a friend's car? We're not too sure. This was in the States though. Those are the Porsches. Another car which he's only been spotted in once is an Aston Martin DBS. Beautiful, naturally aspirated V12 available with a single clutch gearbox or a manual. Those are rising in value right now, the manuals, because they're pretty rare cars. Now, does he still have this car? It's over a six liter naturally aspirated V12. We're not sure because uh, he's only been spotted in it once. But if so, possibly one in his collection which would be appreciating in value. So let's head over to the Germans, Mercedes. He's had quite a few of these. Now famously, himself and Jay-Z in the music video for a song called Otis cut up a Maybach 57. So there was two, gen two versions of Maybach you could get back then when it was its own standalone brand. Now it's kind of a trim level for Mercedes S-classes but you could get the 57 and the 62, the 62 being a little bit longer. And in this video, they famously cut up the car completely uh, into little pieces and yeah, basically just modified it for the video. So you need to be balling pretty hard to buy a Maybach and just chop it up completely. But reportedly, this is now shared between Jay-Z and Kanye West. I don't know where the car is exactly, but it could be sitting in one of his mini garages. Maybach obviously now bought back by Mercedes. Another car with an interesting history behind the brand as well. Uh, well, Mercedes McLaren SLR. So a car developed uh, in partnership between Mercedes and McLaren before they became two completely separate entities. Um, a, an absolute beast of a car with 600 horsepower, uh, twin turbo V8, absolutely gorgeous. These are actually climbing in value quite a bit because of the gullwing doors, the very particular design. Now they were only available with an automatic gearbox and Kanye West has been actually spotted driving around in this a decent amount in the States. A silver one, which is a classic color. Awesome, awesome car. One step above that though, is the SLR Sterling Moss. Sterling Moss, super limited car, over a million dollars. Kanye West was spotted dressed very classily in a suit, driving his Sterling Moss to a premiere. And he said, it looks like it was a premiere. Obviously such a rare car, such a valuable car, based, as the name indicates, on the SLR, but does not have a front windscreen. So it's a proper kind of race car, kind of made to arc back, again, as the name states towards Sterling Moss, and specifically the era in which he uh, was uh, taking part in the Minimiglia. So a very famous Italian race, about a thousand miles, where you drive all across of Italy. And he was in what they called a Silverado um, Mercedes with no windscreen. So they made a modern, very limited version of that car as an homage to him. Uh, he has sadly passed away, which Kanye West, I think, was... We just told me it was actually the Cannes Film Festival where he was showing up. I mean, how cool is that? Showing up in a suit to the Cannes Film Festival in a Sterling Moss. Good as it gets, really actually not too long ago, but beautiful, beautiful car. Now we go over to the Italian cars. He seems to have a particular thing for Lamborghini. First Lamborghini that uh, Kanye West was associated with was a Gallardo, so five liter engine. It was a first generation Gallardo, available in manual, all with a single clutch, over 500 horsepower, naturally aspirated V10, absolute beast, which he used to drive around as a daily back in the day until he upgraded to the V12 Lambo, mid-engine, 700 horsepower, four-wheel drive Lamborghini, LP700-4, the first generation which he got in matte black 
absolutely awesome and he was actually driving this car around a lot before he had a slightly unfortunate fate when one of his assistants was driving into one of his or his friend's houses and bumped it into the gates of the house. Probably didn't go down too, too well on a car like that. It would be a massive repair bill. I'm thinking north of $5,000, around $10,000 maybe. So yeah, that probably did not go down too well. But he was seen getting in arguments with paparazzis with this car. He was seen driving it around quite a bit. Really cool and I think the perfect stealth spec for a car of this type. The most recent Lamborghini is one that's been getting talked about quite a bit. It's his Lamborghini Urus. So this is a V8 twin turbo, hugely powerful, 4x4, made by the Italian brand. And he had it originally, it came in gloss black, he had it wrapped into satin black, then kind of went wild with it. He put kind of matte beige cream wrap on the car, very similar actually to what Justin Bieber had on or has or had, I'm not too sure, on his Lamborghini Urus. We actually did a collection video on Justin Bieber as well. So if you guys want to see that, it'll be linked around. So he put this fairly particular wrap on the car, but then also put these very strange rims on his Urus. Uh, they're these kind of one piece, completely filled out rims. You can't see the calipers. It's very strange. I'm not sure who made them for him, but yeah, I, I'm not a massive fan of these. I mean, he loves them, it's his car. Who cares what we think, really? But yeah, it's a particular particular style, let's say. Now, the creme de la creme, which we do not have confirmation of, is his Bugatti Veyron. He's been associated with this car, but we don't actually have any photos, but there are quite a few articles saying that he actually bought this Bugatti Veyron first generation, 16.4, but special limited edition. It's called the FBG. It's one of four uh, Veyrons which were made in collaboration with Hermes. Um, so it kind of suits Kanye West's interest in fashion. Uh, this one in a very particular color spec. I don't know if you guys like it. Uh, the, I think it looks pretty cool. The rims are pretty particular on these, but 1,001 horsepower, W16 quad turbocharged, absolute beast, was of course when it was released the fastest car in the world and has some particularities to the interior, obviously, with leather straight out of Hermes. Really, really cool car. FBG actually stands for a street in Paris, in the after that street in Paris. And so they made four of these, all in different color trims, and then actually one Veyron Grand Sport, the convertible version afterwards, was also made in collaboration with Hermes. Since then, a famous Instagram and YouTuber called Manny Koshman has made a Bugatti Chiron with Hermes, uh, as well as many other supercars. So Bugatti and Hermes have come together on several projects, but this was one of the first and potentially sits in Kanye West's garage. Now, a Bugatti kind of seems like if you're a six, very, very successful rapper, it's the thing you get. We saw it in Travis Scott's car collection, and I'm sure we'll see it in many more to come. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. He's obviously got some pretty cool cars in the collection, good taste, and I'm sure we'll be seeing him getting a lot of new cars very, very soon. So give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want to see more videos of this type, and don't forget to comment down below the person you'd like us to cover next week. Cheers, guys. I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.